Hey guys and welcome back to another video and this is a very exciting video because in this video I'm going to be doing an early review of the Lego Marvel Studios CMF Series 2. So this series isn't, so, isn't supposed to come out till September 1st but one of my friends he had gotten an entire box. He, he had found an entire box of these figures and he had bought the entire box. And he had asked me if I wanted to buy a whole set. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I would love to buy a full set. So he paid 60 bucks for all of them. So that'd be $5 for each of them, which is their actual price. And then, uh, yeah. So they were all in box when he gave them to me. So I won't be unboxing them in this video or any of the, I don't think, but I will show you the box that they come in. I'll show you the checklist, and then I'm gonna review every figure that comes in this series. But on other news, I did also trade some of my figures for uh, six of his figures, like different, completely different figures. I will do a separate video on those, but for now, let's stick with the CMF figures. So starting off with the box, uh, yeah, I don't, I hate the boxes, honestly. Like, I loved how they did the bags, like how you could feel who you, who you were getting. You can't, can't do that anymore. But, uh, yes, yeah, so you got eight of the figures on the front of the box. Series two up there. This is set number 71039. It's ages five and up. Uh, tells you that there's one Lego minifigure inside and on the back you can see like how all that fits and you just open up the box like that and uh, you'll just have the figure inside there were a few complaints with this box that it would scratch some of the figures and like they are all amazing quality but there is one that has just a little scratch it's barely noticeable but Still wanted to tell you guys about that. But with the checklist, you can see that Wolverine is front and center. So you can open this up. You can find the, you can find all the figures. It's a pretty cool like background, I guess. On the other side, it shows you how to build a couple of the figures. And like some of their accessories. And uh yeah, a nice looking checklist. So I'm gonna be reviewing the figures off the order of the checklist. And first on there is uh Agatha. And this is an amazing figure though, like and I didn't actually get the uh Wanda from the first series, so I kind of wish they'd put her in there instead of Monica, because then it'd all be, like, all together. But uh, she comes with this dark hold that actually does have a reference to the Scarlet Witch from Multiverse of Madness. So that's a cool-looking uh, print there. It's also really cool to get the dark hold. And then she also comes with two purple uh, Power Blast pieces that you just... just flick off of her hands and you also notice that all these figures come with a with an action pose piece yeah you can't really do much with uh, Agatha because she has a dress piece but uh she does have amazing printing all over though no arm printing but like the dress print the dress printing is really accurate and then she's got this cape and a little bit of printing on the back. There's a better look at that. Also look at the uh, back facial printing. And then she also uses, not where, I'm not sure where this hair comes from, but it's this like brownish hair there. And uh, that's it for Agatha. Next up is a figure that I think everybody has wanted Lego to make ever since the show came out, and that is Moon Knight. And uh, this figure, 
was done perfectly. So his accessories are this scarab, I don't know how to pronounce that, like the scarab beetle that he has. And then one of these are an extra, but he comes with two of these, uh, his moon, his moon rings. But uh, taking those off, so you can see his printing all over. It's like, the way they did like, all the bandages and stuff was spot on to the show. He's got some gray boots, uh, the, some really nice print, it's really nice uh, molding for that hood. It's printing on the back there. Arm printing, which looks amazing. And uh, there's the uh, moon there for his uh, chest. And then, so I actually thought that the uh, mask like, right there would be connected to what goes over his head. But actually, that's just printing on the uh, on the head. So you can take that off, and there's a better look at the uh, at that hood piece. And then he's got a uh, yeah, his uh, printing on his face. And you can turn it around, you can actually see Mark Spector's face, which I think is an awesome inclusion for this figure. I'm gonna have to go through these quicker. This video is gonna be way too long. Uh, next is Mr. Knight, which is the, uh, well, split personality of Mark. So this is Steven. And, uh, so for his accessories, he's got, actually got his fish tank with the, uh, fish with the smaller fin. And he's also got these two silver batons. But taking those off, he's got no arm printing, some nice white suit printing on there. A little bit on the back with a little line there. And then the Moon Knight face with the uh, that stitch that goes down. And uh, yeah, this is like an amazing figure to see. All right, next is Werewolf by Night. And to be completely honest, I never actually saw that show. Um, so I don't really know a whole lot about this character. All I know is the printing looks amazing. Although that show was black and white, I do know that, so I'm not sure why it's in color. I guess it looks cooler that way. But he's got like these ripped gray, these ripped green pants. Shows a bit like they're ripping there. He's got some uh, toe printing there with his claws. Uh, nice arm printing, really good torso printing there. And uh, this is a nice hairpiece, almost like a mullet with ears. And then turning his face around, he has a very nice smile that he's got there. And then his accessory is the Moonstone, I believe. Don't know a whole lot about that, but yeah. All right, next is the fourth wall breaking She-Hulk. And this is the second time we have gotten her in Lego, I believe. And her accessories are this phone where she's calling Wong. And then this file of um, Emil Blonsky or The Abomination. It's also got a little picture of him there. And that's like the only like, actual like, Lego evidence we have of Emil Blonsky or The Abomination. So a lot of people were disappointed when they didn't, when they found out that she wasn't like that she didn't have the uh, avatar arms and legs because she's supposed to be way taller than regular figures. But it's all right, I guess, because there's supposed to be like way more room in between the boots and the pants, like way more room. But it is really well printed though. Uh, dual molded legs, dual molded arms, nice torso printing, the green hair. And uh, I do kind of wish they gave her a scowling face, but it's just a smile and an even bigger smile. I guess if you wanted to, you could use this as like a nice poison ivy or something. I don't know. There's back torso printing and uh, yeah, there's She-Hulk. Next is probably one of my favorite figures from the series. Most because this is the most accurate Hawkeye I think we have ever gotten. Like, it is amazing. 
But his little, his accessory is like this little owl, and that's the one that takes the uh, little van away when it's shrunken. Uh, the only downside of this figure it doesn't have any leg printing. He does, however, have uh, nice dual molded arms there. Not too much printing on the torso, but just enough that it looks good. And take the quiver off to see some uh, back printing where he does actually have a second quiver it looks like and then while we're back here we can get a better look at his other face print which is like a beat up face to show that he's been in battle like the uh the wrinkles on this guy like they made it so accurate to Jeremy Renner. Like, they did an amazing job. The next figure is Kate Bishop. And something I forgot to mention about Hawkeye, but I can just mention with her, is they actually have new uh, bow pieces, which I think look amazing. But she also comes with uh, Lucky the dog. He's got one eye closed. And I think this is a new mold. I'm not totally sure. And then she's also got a uh, pizza box called with that says "Hit the Spot" on it, which nice little pun there, I guess. And then uh, she's got some leg printing, actually, a little pocket there, and some extra arrows on that one. And then amazing arm printing as well. I was printing on one arm. <laughs> um, you can see that a little bit of printing there. She's also got a beat up face, and uh, she also uses the uh, Barbara Gordon hairpiece from the Lego Batman movie. Taking that off, she also got a second quiver underneath for some reason. I guess if you don't want her to, if you don't want them to have like actual quivers, I guess you can take that off. The next figure is Goliath aka Bill Foster and a lot of people were mad because this was going to be they thought this was going to be Goliath and then some people are confused whether this is a what if character or not I don't think it's a what if character because in the comics Bill Foster was Goliath so I just I think he's just like a new character maybe like a new show or something his accessory is actually a micro scale a micro figure of Ant-Man it's kind of strange for him to come with that, not like a microscale figure of Goliath. I guess he would grow into a shrink, but still. And then he also comes with this uh, Ant-Man helmet with different kind of a different kind of printing on it. And he has some of the best printing I've ever seen. Like all the detail they got into this guy. And he also comes with this newer. Uh, this newer hairpiece. It's like the uh, one that the Sam Wilson Captain America had, but also has a backside too, so you can put a uh, second face print on it. And uh, there's what it looks like with the helmet on. Next is Echo, and her accessory is this, uh, not sure what it is, something. Like a little bat. But then she's got like very unique printing all around. She also has a prosthetic leg with I which I love to see. Like that is an amazing piece. And uh Yeah. She's got well this suit is I guess from the show that she's gonna have. So Yeah, not sure they put it in this, but she also got this uh, big old ponytail like thing, and then a mad face on the other side, and uh, yeah, that's it for Echo. Okay, so part of what makes this series so good is that they have put in X Men characters, like more than just Wolverine, which they haven't done in so long. So this guy, his accessory is like this micros microscope something and he's also got an x-men cup and he's got like fur all over with a little belt and some underwear or something and uh 
Yeah, it's like all this fur all over him. This hair would have been great for Wolverine had it not had these ears on there. It's like, if they were ever just to take off those ears and just recolor it, that would have been amazing for Wolverine. But like, it's like so weird, like underneath the hair, it looks pretty cool. It's like a mad face on that side, and then on the other side, he's got glasses and a smile. Because Beast was also like a professor, like a, like a scientist or something. Next is Storm, and her accessories are these uh, yellow lightning bolts. And then she's, she's also got this cape that like goes onto her wrist somehow. I think it just like slides on, so that's pretty cool. She got two X-Men logos, uh, it's like an all white uniform with these shoulder pads. And then she's got like a, I think it's a new Mohawk piece, which just looks amazing. She's got like gray metallic eyes. And so a wee bit of leg printing and some back printing. I have the final and probably my favorite figure from the series, Wolverine. Now, first of all, there is one big change that they made to this figure, and it's if if you take your, uh, if you have the Wolverine mech, you can take that, and they actually changed the color of the Wolverine suit. It looks like a lot of the same printing almost, but like. Uh, like different colors and like yeah it just looks amazing and like beneath the mask it's different for both of them too like on this one the sideburns go all the way down there but on this one they stop like right there it's like a little bit of stubble which it does kind of look better when he has more sideburns but it's all good so Wolverine's uh, accessories is this, sen I forgot what it's called, like a sentry or something, or like a centurion, or I can't remember, but it's like a beheaded one, it's all hollowed out inside, but it's got claw marks across the face. And then he's got boots, uh, underwear on the outside, of course, because that's what all heroes did. Uh, hair on the arms with some sleeves, and just like the regular Wolverine torso. And then the, uh, you can take that off, you get the goggles. And going to the back, that's where you can see like the little scratch he's got on his mouth in the box. But something I like about the Wolverine mask is you can put it on any character and the eyes will still show through. Like, it's not like a Batman mask where it does that. But then they also gave him a hairpiece. I'm not sure why it wasn't the, uh, the Dracula hairpiece. And I actually did try with it. This somehow looks better. I'm not sure how. And this is, and this was a early set review of the new Lego Marvel Studios CMF Series 2 set. It was every single figure, everything, everything that was included, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.